the another video related to finding the mean in a group data. Earlier we saw that how to find the mean in an ungrouped data. Here the data is grouped. How it is grouped? If you see this particular line of the question, it is saying class interval and the marks that we have found in the previous question, individual marks were there, but here those individual marks are grouped under one particular class 10 to 25, 25 to 40, 40 to 55, 55 to 70. In this way, the marks are grouped so that this particular uh, concept is called as the this type of data is called as group data and so today we are going to learn that how to find the mean by group data so as i told you earlier earlier we have drawn only three columns but here four columns are there one extra column to find out the xi because here we have to write this class interval here the number of students and here we have to find the class mark. So how to find that class mark? I'll explain in here. And then the last column is the product of this fi and xi. Okay. So here we took all the class intervals here that is that was given in the question, and all the number of students that is fi or the frequency actually number of students also we took. Now we need to find out the class mark or the xi. Class mark or xi is nothing but the midpoint of this class interval. Midpoint of each class interval will be called as xi. So in your textbook it is given or the general concept is that how to find out this uh, xi. There is a formula that class mark is equal to lower limit plus the upper limit divided by 2. So if you see a particular class mark, suppose I am taking here 10 to 25. So this first one is called as the lower limit and the Next one is called as the upper limit. So we have to take the average of these two or the, we have to find out the mean of these two. So 10 plus 25 divided by 2. And for each class interval you have to do like this. But as per me, this is a very lengthy process. So today in this problem I will teach you how to find this class mark very easily without doing more calculation. So what to do if you see all the class interval, if you observe all the class interval, between these, the difference is 15. How to know the difference? Subtract the lower limit from the upper limit. 25 minus 10, 15. 40 minus 25, 15. So we come to know that the class size is 15. This is got a class size also. 15 is the difference between each class interval. You take that 15. This is my method. It will be very easier for you. You put 15 divided by 2. If you divide this 15 by 2, you are getting 7.5. So now what to do? To write the class mark, you take this 7.5 and add to all the lower limits and write it. For example, 10 plus 7.5 is 17.5. Then 25 plus 7.5 is 32.5. Then 40 plus 7.5 is 47.5. Then 55 plus 7.5 is 62.5. And now 70 plus 7.5 is equal to 17, 77.5. And now 85 plus 7.5 is 92.5. This is the easiest method of doing or for all those numbers you have to add these to divide by 2. It is a lengthy process. So if you solve by this way, your time will be saved. Now the next part, we have to find this Fi and Xi. So these two should be multiplied now. So if you are multiplying, if you are when was in multiplication directly do it or else multiply. But my suggestion for 10 cents student to be prepared more and try to do the direct multiplication. 17.5 is a 35.0 actually. So 0 I am writing because for some of the answers we will get 0.5 so that I am writing here. Now 32.5 into 3 will be 97.5. And now 47.5 to 7, so we have to multiply 7, 5 to 35, 3 carry, 7, 7 to 49 plus 3, 52, so 5 carry, 7, 4 to 28 plus 5, uh, 33. Next, 62.5 to 6, 6, 5 to 30, so 0, 3 carry, 6 to 12 plus 3, 15, 5, 1 carry, 6, 6 to 36 plus 1, 37. Now next one, 1 second, 77.5 to 6, 6, 5 to 30, 0, 3 carry, 6 to the 42 plus 3, 45, 4 carry, 1 second, 6 to the 42 plus 4, 46. And now, 
The last one, 92.5 to 6, 6 is the 30, 0, 3 carries, 6 is the 12 plus 3, 15, 5, 1 carries, 6 lines are 54 plus 1, 55. So this is your FIXI. Now the next one is finding the sum of this FIXI like we have done earlier. So what to do here? First number of students, you will see 26 plus 6 plus 6, 18. So 50, 25, 28 and 230. So we can say sigma FI is equal to 30. Next one we have to find out sigma FIXI. So we have to write here sigma fi xi is equal to, now we need to add this, 5 plus 5, 0, so 1 carry, 1 plus 5, 6, 11, 16, 18, 25, 30, 0, 3 carry, plus 5, 8, 14, 21, 24, 33 and 36, so 3 carry, 3 plus 5, 8, plus 4, 12, 15 and 18. So 1860.0 we got. So 0 has no value, only 1860. So now we are going to find the mean of this. So to find the mean earlier, we have done that in the previous question, the formula to calculate mean or which is also denoted by x bar. We can say what? Sigma fi xi divided by sigma f. Okay, so formula is same in the group data and group data. Only one difference is what? In group data, the class interval is there and we have to find out the class mark. That is the difference. So now, we have to take down our values that we got here. 1860 divided by 30. So we can say sigma fi is 1860. So 1860 divided by 30. So here we are saying cancellation is possible and 0 and 0 get cancelled first. Now you divide 186 by 3. Direct division also you can do it, not a problem. If you direct it with 3, 6 is 18 and 3, 2 is 6. So 62 is your answer. You just, I am moving away from the board so that you can see it properly. So this is the way how to find the mean of a grouped data. As I told the difference is, for class interval is there, we have to find out the class mark. Then another technique I taught you in this way, that how to find this class mark easily. One second I am explaining, don't add this and divide by 2, it will take a lot of time. The technique I taught you, you just do one thing, take down the difference, which is for the class size of this uh, class interval, divide it by 2 and whatever the value you are getting, you have to add it to the lower limits and right. Is that clear? So hope all of you understood this.